Uh, my name is Danny Tarkanian, and I'm a candidate for the United States Senate on the Republican ticket. Uh, I'm a, well, not a li lifetime, but I spent most of my life here in Nevada. My family and I moved here in 74. I'm raising my four children, and my wife uh, and I are married here in Nevada. I have an, my education background as an attorney. I practiced law for seven years here, and now I operate two small businesses. One's a uh, um, nonprofit group that we work with young children in the sports related field, and the other is a family owned commercial real estate center. I got into this race because, as many of you uh, feel, uh, Harry Reid and the um, current administration has taken us down a very dangerous path of more government intervention, more government involvement, and more tax uh, spending dollars. And I felt somebody had to challenge them that, that can beat them and get back to the core principles that our Constitution intended the federal government to be. I got in the race in August. It's going extremely well right now. I beat Reed in all 15 polls, and I hope to get your endorsement and be the general, uh, the uh, Republican candidate for the general election. Thank you. Good evening. Ed Hamilton, I'm running in the Democratic Party ticket. I'm running against Harry Reid. I'm going to spare the Republican because I'm going to beat Reid next month. <laughs> okay. My name will be listed on the ballot as Eduardo Mr. Clean Hamilton. You can remember Hamilton, just look at your $10 bill, my name is there. And I'm writing as Mr. Clean because Mr. Reed is Mr. Corrupt. He's benefiting in his land deals because of his earmarks that he brings to Laughlin, for example. But I promised the voters I'm going to work for them for a buck for a dollar annually at the beginning until the economy gets better. I think all politicians got to take a pay cut, at least 25%. I'm going to take 99% pay cut. All public employees who are now our slave masters, they got to take a big pay cut. Not 1% or 2%, 20%. I'm from Henderson. The firefighters over there retire making half a million dollars of our money. That is actually ridiculous. I'm telling you, folks, America is in a bad shape. Everybody is saying our good days ahead of us. Not true. The financial thing will blow up. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Tim Fasano. I'm the Independent American Party candidate for U.S. Senate. What I bring to the table in this election that's coming up is the Constitution and my understanding of the Federalist Papers. That's where I place my focus uh, in my, uh, my run for this election, and I wish to bring that understanding to bear on the issues within our country. I'm a Nevadan. I'm a veteran. I'm a son of a veteran. And I have a son that is a veteran. We believe that we have to serve our country. It's duty, honor, and commitment. Thank you. Hello. Testing. Uh, my name is Carlo Poliak. Uh, first, I'd like, uh, by a raise of hands, how many people in this room make decisions daily? That's good to know. Of course, there's some that didn't uh, react. It may surprise you that you don't have to be aristocrat, lawyer, rich and famous, celebrity to make critical decisions. I'm an everyday folk, and I represent that vast majority that has not got representation. And I want to set the example to be elected as U.S. Senate candidate for the state of Nevada. See, we make decisions, critical ones. We're very capable. Lawyers have to rely on the auto mechanic, plumber, electrician, accountant, other lawyers, just like we do. And uh, I'll expound later as we proceed as to the issues that are endearing to everyday folks. Hello, my name is Terry Suman, and I'm running for U.S. Senate as a conservative Republican. And I want to thank the veterans in politics for inviting all of us here tonight to hear what we have to say. And I'm running because, like so many of you, I'm tired of waking up every morning and seeing that Congress is passing another bill that they haven't read and they haven't paid for. Our national debt will be $14 trillion by the end of the year, and it's going up $10,000 each second that goes by. And this is something we have to stop, and we can't do it if we continue electing politicians that will go to Washington to represent special interests. And that's why I'm running, and I appreciate you having me here. Hi, I'm Sharon Angle. I'm the conservative Republican candidate running for the People's U.S. Senate seat currently held by, let's make a deal, tax and spend, Harry Reid. I've lived 
in Nevada over 50 years. I came here with my parents. My father is a World War II veteran and a Korean conflict veteran. My son-in-law was a Marine. I have two children, 10 grandchildren, and that's my vested interest. I believe that the uh, simple answer is the best, that kiss, sim that kiss principle, keep it simple, share it, take it back. Uh, pay it back and cut back. Pay back on the deficit, cut back on the spending, and take back by auditing the Fed, getting rid of uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. And I believe that we have the right contract with America, which is our Constitution, the right message for America, lower taxes, less government regulation, more personal freedom, and and <laughs> cut the spending. And we have the right angle to defeat Harry Reid. SharonAngle.com. My name is Gary Bernstein. I'm running uh, for the United States Senate as well. One thing I will tell you that everybody on this panel, I think we can all agree, would make a better senator than Harry Reid, and I congratulate everybody for doing this. It's a difficult thing to do. I'm running, I'm the one person who's in this race who has a very, very particular agenda for people who serve in the military. It's a very important issue to me. I have a variety of proposals to help uh, families of men and women that serve in the armed first forces, and that's one of the primary reasons I'm running, and I look forward to discussing those issues with you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Maydell, and I am also a conservative Republican. Also, as people might know already, that I'm also a professional poker player. So politics to me is completely a whole new avenue for me. The reason why I am running for U.S. Senate is because I truly will be a representative of the people. It will not be about my own personal ideologies. It will be about the people's and what they want, because I know the people will be right. And that is the reason why I have taken on this challenge to run for the U.S. Senate in this beautiful state of Nevada. My father was a veteran in the uh, Flying Tigers in World War II. He was one of the originals under... Uh, General McGow, he also ran for the U.S. Congress in 1974, and I would be proud to serve you, and I can only tell you that I'm the only candidate that will sign a contract, not only to my state, but to America, to tell you exactly what I will do for the people, and if I do not follow what I say I would do, I would resign, and that won't happen. Hello, my name is Cecilia Stern. I'm running for U.S. Senate, and um, I would like to represent the people of Nevada. Um, I came here after September 11th, and um, I have seen us go. One of the reasons why I'm running is because, um, because of the housing market. When I came here, and I saw what was happening, and nobody was taking care of what was going to happen to the people, that were losing their, that were going to lose their homes in this crash that we just had with the economy. This should have never happened. Yesterday, uh, last week, I saw Harry Reid on C-SPAN, and as I saw him in the Senate, I was very shocked to see how he could stand there, knowing that because they didn't put a moratorium on building, we wouldn't be, have been hit in this crisis. The crisis that we've been hit is a lot of people, when they bought their homes, that was their nest egg. And most of them lost their home and lost a lot of money. Um, I, uh, I don't understand how they let us, Nevada, go through what we went through and the job that we have lost and overbuilding and someone has to realize that this is not a state that we can compete with other states. Whereas, okay. I have to go, but I just want to say please vote for me because I will okay. represent the people.